Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to resolve the circular references error in Excel when you open a workbook. So let's say we open up this basic one here, and then you might get this message saying, there are one or more circular references where a formula refers to its own cell either directly or indirectly. This might cause them to calculate incorrectly. Try removing or changing these references or moving the formulas to a different cell. So if you have a really complicated worksheet and you click OK, it doesn't tell you where the problem is and you have to go figure it out. So this is just, you know, one section here. So obviously this one's going to be easy to figure out. But if you have multiple sheets, uh, multiple rows and columns with all kinds of data, you might not be able to figure out. So what you can do, if you go to formulas, there's an error checking box here. But if you click on that, error check is complete for the entire sheet, but it doesn't tell you anything either, at least for this uh, problem. So what you want to do is go back to error checking then go to Circular References, and then it'll tell you exactly where it is. So this is in B17, so if we click on that, there's our problem. And we could see that this formula is the sum of B3 to B18, which is down here. So it's including the total within the formula, which it shouldn't be doing. So if we just simply change this to maybe B3 to B14, like so. Now we have our total. Let's save it and go back into it. And you can see now that error message is gone. And one thing you'll notice too, though, is if you have multiple instances of this, you're going to have to do this several times because when you go to the formulas and error checking, and then this, it'll kind of just show you one at a time there. All right, so once again, formulas tab, error checking, and then if you have a problem, this will not be grayed out. And once it is fixed, it'll gray itself out because there's no more issues with uh, circular references. All right, so hopefully that helps you fix your problem with this error, and then you could uh, continue on with your worksheet. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.